Right. It's been a while. I was pretty explain about why I'm talking Spanish last night. Okay. So, I'm going to sound like an idiot for this video because I have my tongue pit. It's now Wednesday. I have my tongue pierced on Friday, so I'm still recovering. Um, we, what? Constantly in recovery. <laughs> yeah, constantly in recovery. Um, you don't really get a day off, do you? Um, I'm not really sure what it'll be. It'll be a, this is what I'm eating, a little update, probably. I don't know. I don't know if I'll do all of what I'm eating, or just some of it. But, we shall see. But I'm going to make breakfast, so I'm going to make a smoothie bowl. Because I'm fun. <laughs> and because it's cold, which means that it makes my tongue feel better. So this is my smoothie. So I've got frozen, I'm not sure what it is. Like pineapple and melon and... I can't remember what else. Strawberries, raspberries and some Greek yoghurt. There you go. Here is my smoothie smoothie, nice and pink. And I'm gonna put some maple syrup on top. That little bit of sweetness. It was my S's. Oh no, that wasn't too bad. But S's at the moment when they're in words, I'm not struggling with. Okay, well that's just Dingo house. <laughs> oh. So it's like a moat. It's like when you have porridge and you put milk around the sides. Then it's a moat for it. And now it's not really a smoothie. It's just a slug. Because it's not very thick. I might as well get a straw at this point. But there we go. Does it taste good? Yeah, tastes like fruit. Tastes like fruit and maple syrup. Whoop whoop. It is like just turned autumn, like yesterday. It's proper soup weather. It is. And it's making me very happy because I like autumn a lot. Because you get to get snuggly and warm. Yeah. I'm trying to think what other pumpkin things I want to try. Pumpkin spice latte, I want to try this year. Pumpkin pie. What else is there? Is that it? Yeah, there is no other pumpkin things. You've got your pumpkin bead pie and your pods. Oh, yeah. This autumn stuff I want to try. Hot chocolates. Pumpkin spice hot chocolate. Did Is there that? such a thing? I don't know. No, I don't know. I'll look it up. She might just say it's pumpkin spice. Just chuck it out. Yeah, just that. chuck it out and chuck it out. Oh, mince pie. A mince pie. Mince pie. An yeah. actual mince pie. An actual mince pie. Because she like a mince pie. Yeah, I didn't have one at all last year. Is it just last year? It's been two years. I haven't had an advent calendar for three. No, four, I think. You've had advent calendars, just mm. not chocolate ones. Yeah, they've had earrings in them. No, me and my mother sweet, because last year I just didn't bother. Yeah. And then two years prior. Like for the two years before, I just had two jewellery ones. I don't ever have one before, that's very good. Can't remember. 
Maybe I should tap on this. I think you should. If I get one, I'm going all out and get one of the expensive ones. You know what? I was just thinking, like, you get a posh, like, lint on or something. I'm not getting a cheap one. I'm going to have to get a drink of this. Yeah, I think I might get one of the lint ones. I'll see what's out at Christmas. They're going out new ones, but I think lint would be nice. I think the lint ones would be nice as well. Bear in mind the lint chocolates are lovely. Mm. I know this because mm. I've eaten them. I still haven't had lint chocolate. I think I've only had dairy milk. Oh wait, I've had uh, dairy milk, arrow and Kit Kat. I think. Have I had lint? I think you have, because they give you lint bars, don't they? Oh, I haven't had one of those You've had lint, it's like the lint chocolate bunnies. That's your lint chocolate. Yeah, but since being like, in recovery. Oh, good, no, it. not since recovery. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, since we're going like, like Dairy Milk Hair and Kit Kat the only ones I've had, I think. I think that'll be my challenge for Christmas. To actually try stuff and not just think about having it. To have a bit of chocolate every day in your advent calendar. That'll be challenging. That'll be really challenging. But I think that's a good and achievable challenge. Mm. Yeah. Like it's just a little bit every day and then by then I'll be like, oh my god, I've done it. Yeah. I'll help you, I'll get one as well. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have yours in the evening or in the morning? Whenever I remember. Quite often I forget about it, then I'll have like five bits of chocolate in one day. No, yeah, morning. Mm. I would say morning I could put it on my breakfast, but like... People do that when it's something like hot and it melts, but I have yogurt so it wouldn't melt. Nobody puts their advent calendar chocolate on their breakfast. On Instagram they do, when they have like massive porridge bowls, and they'll put like a ball of lint on it and it'll melt and go swirly. Okay. It's Well you never know, by then you might, you might have pushed the boat out. Well, um, I was on his post last night, she got custard on porridge. I was like, this looks like a good combination. Custard blends me out to be Not anything. If you put custard with beef, you are wrong. Jerry from Friends wouldn't think so. <laughs> custard on that. chips. <laughs> Dip your chips in custard. Mm. Custard, custard. <laughs> I think I do need to put my fear food jar back out again at some point. Yeah. When I can actually eat food properly. Mm. Yeah, that shouldn't be too long, though, should it? No, it wouldn't be too long at all. Because I think getting your tongue pierced was a good thing. I was a bit worried to begin with, mm. knowing that you wouldn't be able to kind of eat solid food, but actually I think it's challenged you to think out of the box a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, like having that. Like, right, because one of the, I, this is like only the second time I've had it, because normally I just have a bowl of the out pre of it. But I had it the first time and just had that, um, like they just threw it in a bottle and then blended it. Um, but then put like the Greek yogurt in it afterwards. So it was like my nor kind of like my normal bowl, except I didn't have like like the cereal and, and the cacao nib. Quite like having soup though, especially this. Soup time of year. Yeah. I'll film it later, but me having soup is quite amusing because I like have to dip all the bits of bread in. And it's like Stonehenge in your bowl. Yeah. <laughs> soup henge. Yeah. Three hours in Yeah. Yeah. It's not a 
got my book out my in my journal, but I haven't like done anything in it for ages. Mm-hmm. Um, because I just keep forgetting. And it's like my page and it's got my face page on it. I was reading through it and I was like, it feels like I've done loads, but it's like there's apart from I'm fine here, I'll take that. Cereal was on there, I'll take that one off now. Yeah. But apart from that, I was kind of reading through it like I haven't had that, I haven't had that, I haven't had that, I don't wanna have that. I'm like Yeah, but fit food is like as if it's not a case of just eating it once. Yeah. Is it? But it's like most of them I haven't even like thought about having. Well, the fact that you've written them down. <laughs> They've been written down for three down. months. <laughs> I want to get in touch with them. It's like, hello. So, I have my pumpkin soup and two bits of bread, which I'm going to have to like, I'll show you what I've done it. But, I'm going to sort of do a little. Kind of like a little update on where I'm at. Um, and then I'm not sure how much else I'll film. This might be it, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so it's been a little while since I've made a video, like two weeks or something. Because um, I started college, so that's taken up quite a lot of... It's taken up quite a lot of like mental power at the moment. Um, so that's why it's been two weeks. Um, so yeah, college was actually really hard to start with, just because of meeting new people and stuff. Um, so I, I, I like struggled quite a lot in the first few days. Um, but I feel quite kind of stable now, now that I've made some friends and stuff. Um, and yeah. Um, so apart from this, having my tongue done, I'm eating like fine, well, relative, but, um, but like, as I said earlier, I was looking at like my list of like my fair foods and there just seems to be so many that I was like, I've been in recovery for, what's the date today? Three months yesterday. Yeah, pretty much yesterday. Um, and it's only really cereal that I've ticked off. And out of that massive list, I haven't even tried most of the stuff. And it's like, I think I'm doing loads, but when I'm actually sitting down to look at it, it's like, oh, actually, I'm not. I'm not doing it as well as I thought I was. Maybe I am. I don't know. I don't know, but I think once I've kind of, once my tongue's healed, I need to address some of it because like, otherwise they're going to stay fear foods for so much longer. Um, and as I said, like, like, autumn's coming up and winter's coming up and like Christmas and in a few months, I don't want to be like when it comes to Christmas still not trying foods because I'm scared of them but I feel like I'm going to so I feel like I need to start like addressing it now and like prepare because I am really going to struggle otherwise like going down like the we went because the Christmas owl has like they've loaded it in Tesco's and we went down the other day and I was looking at all of the food and it's like, I'd love to have so much of this. But I still won't let myself and I won't let myself have it. But then I have moments where I'm like, well, actually I should just get it and I should just have it. But then it comes to buying it, I'm like, actually maybe I shouldn't and then I never actually buy it. Or I buy it and I don't have it. Like, I've been wanting to try granola for ages, and I bought two boxes of granola, like, ages ago. And I still haven't had them because I keep making excuses. And 
think it's just it's really hard because I'm not noticing time going by and I'm still having the same foods like obviously before having like a soup every day and stuff because of my tongue I've still just been having wraps and couscous consistently and that's it and then breakfast is always the same and it's always yogurt or toast not bread because I don't like toast but it's really hard to try new foods when there's so much that I want to try and I don't know where to start but then when it comes to trying something new I freak myself out over it and I don't end up trying it and I just leave it and think I'll, I'll do it I'll do it next week or I'll do it when I've got loads of time free or I'll do it when I'm doing this instead or I just end up putting it off so much I, I need to stop procrastinating things because it's not going to go away if I just wait for it to happen I've got to do it myself and it's really hard realising that that the same as when I chose recovery, I've got to do this myself. No one's going to do it for me. But then... It still sounds twisted, but having fear foods is like me letting go of my disorder. Which still really scares me. And I know that it shouldn't because that's what recovery is about and letting go of your disordered thoughts and behaviours. And I'm not going to have a good relationship with food if I'm scared of bagels for the rest of my life. Like, that's not how it's going to work. So. I think once my tongue is fully healed which hopefully won't take too long. I don't know. Or once I can eat like proper food again, which won't be that long. Maybe I'll make another video kind of addressing what I want to do. I'm not really sure. Anyway, so that's kind of where I'm at. Is there anything else? Oh yeah. Trying to fit eating around school as well. Like, luckily, I have half days most days. So I either start at one or I finish at one. Which is actually really helpful for me because my attention span is real, still really short. Like, I still really struggle to focus in class. And I can't any longer than maybe 20 minutes. And I've lost it. Like, I don't know what. I'm doing and I can't pick it back up again which makes things really hard when everyone around me can focus for so much longer than I can but I just can't get myself to that level of focus again without having a break which is really hard and then trying to fit snacks around lessons as well I'm still trying to get used to it but we'll see I'll get that also not get my hair in soup this is what I meant by it or what mum meant when she has when she said it looks like Stonehenge that's a very bad angle I'm having to like stand my <clears throat> having to stand my bread up in my soup and then like let it like mush, like let it dissolve, hang on. Yeah. And to like let it dissolve for a little while. So that <clears throat> so that it softens and that I can actually eat it. So yeah. I'm gonna eat this. I think that's kind of all I wanted to say, just to I will get back onto videos. And I'm going to be, I'm going to try and upload them once a week instead of twice. Because obviously with school I've got less time to spend a whole day doing something and editing. So, 
hopefully I'm going to find a routine now, now that college has started and it's going to be better. So <clears throat> thank you very much for watching. I know it's not that much of a video, but it's a little update. So thank you very much. Like and subscribe. Um, I don't know why I did that. We'll get, we move. We move. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, and I hope that my stupid voice has made you smile in some way.